Okay guys, back again. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, towing motorcycle trailers. Um, the one you just saw on the introduction there uh, is my trailer. Now, uh, just a brief history, I've been riding motorcycles for about 50 years, never towed a trailer. So I was looking around at secondhand trailers um, there's quite a few on the market and there's some good ones available, but I decided to go brand new Because I plan on doing quite a few miles. So I thought it'd be worth my while purchasing a new trailer so I got mine from uh, Wayne uh, who owns shadow trailers and he built me basically a hamburger with the lot so to cut a long story short, I was very hesitant uh, and nervous when I towed the trailer for the first time, even though it was empty, I had to come through city traffic, etc. Well, I've got the trailer, I've had it for about five months, and my first trip I travelled 7,000 kilometres with it. So I want to just pass on a few tips that just might help you uh, if you're contemplating buying a trailer or uh, you're a beginner and uh, looking for a few tips and hints. I've got 10 of them and I've just put them on my phone here so I don't forget them. Okay, but um, tip one, know the weight of the unladen trailer. So um, sure, the compliance plate may say you know, what it weighs unladen, but as you add things, like I've got a battery solar panel, I've got 10 litres of fuel, 10 litres of water, spare tyre, and another spare tyre and tube inside the trailer. So that's, or plus the fridge. So I've weighed my trailer in that configuration because I'm always going to have the 10 litres of fuel and the water. Um, so this trailer generally would weigh about 75 to 95 kilo, just depending on how you have it configured. But with all that stuff I've got on it, it's 140 kilo. So I know that now, and I've written that inside the lid of the trailer so I don't forget. So um, the easy way to weigh it, if you're at home, is simply using just bathroom scales like this, jack one wheel up, place the scale underneath the tire, take the weight, do this and drop the tire obviously, put it on the other side, do exactly the same, record that weight. Now you've got to do the um, tow ball as well, or the towing hitch. And how I do that, um, obviously both wheels are on the ground. I just use, most people use fishing scales like this. That goes with me everywhere I go. Uh, inside this trailer so that as the configuration changes I can check the tow ball weight which is very important. So all you simply do there is put the hook inside the coupling, gently lift it up without any jerking, take a recording of the weight, add the three together, that's the weight of your trailer. Now if you haven't got fish scales you can do the same thing using the bathroom scales and you can just put a rod or a plank of wood, a thin bit of dowel inside the coupling onto the scale and record it that way. But I do recommend having these um, if you're long hauling and the configuration in your trailer is going to change. Um, two. Weigh everything that goes inside the trailer, that way you're not guessing or second guessing. So all my gear inside the trailer has been weighed and I've written with a permanent texture in a corner um, how much it weighs so that when I'm putting it in, I've got an idea. I can go, all right, I've got 60 kilos of gear in there, I'm towing 200 kilos. Uh, the reason for that, you don't want to exceed the manufacturer's um, recommendation for gross weight. So I think this one's about 250 kilo. Uh, it's on the compliance plate. But um, just weigh everything. Um, I also have a toolkit in there and a few plastic containers. And when I put stuff in there that's going to stay in there permanently, I write the weight on the top. So I always know what it's going to weigh. So that's, that's a handy tip there too. 
three, load the, tri uh, load the trailer so it's balanced correctly. And I'm sure you've heard of this numerous times, but basically the heavy stuff goes over the center, uh, light stuff to the front and rear until you've balanced the uh, ball weight correctly. Um, in relation to the ball weight, I towed with about 14 kilos on my tow ball weight uh, on the gold wing um, for 7,000 kilometres and it was fine. But uh, the manufacturer said anywhere sort of from 13, 14 up to 17 kilo. Uh, so that's what I aim for. And um, you wouldn't even know the trailer was there. Um, tire pressures, five. Um, loaded and unloaded. You may be quite surprised how low a pressure the trailers actually run on and there's a reason for that because if the pressure is too high the trailer is going to bounce all over the road because as you can see that the trailers aren't really that heavy. So unladen um, this particular trailer about 17 psi. Um, on my trip uh, fully loaded I was on 23 and it was perfect and that's what was recommended to me. Um, so I put 23 in it. If it does feel a little bit jumpy at 23 when your tyres are hot, just drop it a couple of PSI. Because um, as you know, as the tyres get hot, the pressure will increase. So keep an eye on your tyre pressures and experiment with that. Parking the trailer, number six. If you're parking on a um, flat area, um, or a slopey area, always put the bike in gear. Now I, I uh, stuffed up basically. Um, I was on a very slight slope, honestly you would hardly notice it. I was fully loaded, ready to come back um, to Adelaide, another 3,000 odd kilometres. Trailers hitched up, the bike was in gear. Then I thought, right, I'm getting ready, putting the gloves, helmet on and everything. Put the gold wing in neutral, started it up and by the time I got my gloves on the bike had fallen over. Even though the gold wing doesn't vibrate much there was enough weight in the trailer to push slowly and I didn't even notice it to push the bike forward and it fell over. So the lesson I learnt there, always leave it in gear, get on the bike when you're dressed um, with all your protection. then start the bike up, hold the brake on, let it warm up for a couple of minutes and then go. So always leave it in gear. Uh, number eight, be aware that when you're towing a trailer, you're gonna have to take a different line on the road. If you sit on the right hand wheel track or the left hand wheel track where you normally would sit, the trailer is going to be almost on the centre line or over on the kerb line. So you're actually, the line on the bike, you're more closer to the centre near the oil line, which is the black line you see down the middle where cars don't travel. Um, that's where all the oil and crud drops. So I travelled just slightly off that grease line in the centre of the road and that put me trailer a, a couple of feet, um, probably a three feet inside the white line but also be aware you must be looking well ahead because if you see potholes sometimes you just can't avoid it it's either a case of the bike hits it or if you miss it the trailer is going to hit it now over time as you get experienced uh, you, you sort of know where the wheels are going to run and you, you can adapt, so you can just miss the pothole generally, you can just miss it on the trailer. But look well down the track and if you see a pothole, start picking your line. Um, you know, if there's no cars coming and you're on a big open road, you, you could simply just go across to the other lane and miss it. But that's not always an option, so just be aware of that and always look well ahead. More ahead than you would if you didn't have the trailer. Number nine, during stops, do a good walk around the trailer, especially if you're new to the game. Every stop I walked around the trailer, I felt the wheel bearings, I had a look at the tyres, I made sure my latches were okay. Occasionally I opened it up to make sure no cargo had moved. I, I do pack the cargo firmly so it can't move. 
Um, and just a general walk around, same, same with the bike. Um, and it only takes 60 seconds. And that's where sometimes you'll notice if things are going pear shaped. So um, just a quick walk around when you have a rest stop uh, to see that the trail is going okay. And tip number 10, we have road trains here in Australia. You probably do in the States and Canada and places like that too, but it's a semi with three carriages and as they pass, so it's like a train basically, as they pass, they're sitting on 100 k's and you'll get one heck of a wind gust uh, and, and you feel it, doesn't matter what bike you're on, uh, you will feel that gust and it's not going to blow you off the road, but you've just got to be ready for it. Now, when you're towing a trailer, obviously there's a lot more resistance, so you, you're going to feel it a little bit more. It doesn't upset the handling of the bike or anything, but just be aware that um, you may need to slow down. Initially, when you first start with the trailer and you're passing road trains, just slow down 10, 15 k's as you're passing it and move over more in our case in Australia to the left side of the road so you got more of a, a gap so you're not getting so much buffering um, so that, that's a tip there once um, once you're going and, and you get your confidence up uh, you're generally okay all right guys so that's 10 quick tips about the trailer now as I said this is a shadow trailer um, I got the I've got a solar panel on this, I've got the battery inside, it runs the fridge. Uh, I, on that 7,000 kilometre journey I did, uh, I never had any issues. I had to look a couple of times to make sure the trailer was still there uh, because it, it ran so well. It's got independent suspension, so that helps. But you know, I was sitting on 110 k's, which is 68 to 70 miles an hour, and uh, it, was, it was fine. And any trailer will generally um, should be able to do that speed, at least 70. Uh, just one final tip, um, make sure your tyres are rated for the speed that you intend to travel at. Um, my tyres here are M rated, I believe, uh, and they're rated to 130 k's an hour. So. Uh, a lot, some, some tyres, um, particularly when you get the smaller wheels like this, some tyres are only rated to 100 k's an hour, which is totally unworkable um, in this country. You just, 100 k's is just too slow. Um, when all the other traffic's sitting on 110 and in Northern Territory 130 k's, you, you need to have, you need to be going with the flow of the traffic. So just make sure your tyre is rated for the speed you intend to go at. Well, I hope this has been, uh, helpful to some people. Um, if not, it might just jog your memory a bit on some of the issues with trailers and uh, they're not really big issues. It's just something to be aware of. So if please like and subscribe, help the channel grow. And I'll catch you with my next vlog, uh, which will be oh, some work on the Sportster over there behind me. <laughs>